Go. Okay. <laughs> this is the April meeting of the Dalestown Township Public Water Sewer Advisory Committee. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm going to change the agenda around slightly this evening for uh, two reasons. One, Stephanie, I rely on when I'm doing the minutes, which I volunteered to do again last time. Mm -hmm. I rely on being able to, to view the meeting online mm -hmm. and I take my meeting notes, uh, my the minutes off that. Our meeting wasn't posted to the, uh, <clears throat> to the website for last from March. Mm, Our February important. meetings there, but not March meeting. I don't know, we'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure I hit the record button, so. <laughs> it's no, recording. I'm positive that you had recorded it also. Yeah, but, um, so we download it. We, we, can, um, we can go back and pull the recording and everything and so if you can Aaron, get me Aaron will that. double check that it got posted and everything. Okay, well, when I can, we get it straightened out, if you can just let me know. It's either there or get me a copy, a link to it, sure. so that I can uh, prepare the minutes. Okay. So that'll be tabled. <laughs> I'll have that for next time. The other thing I'm moving around is Keith has an obligation tonight, so I'm going to let Keith go next with regards to an update on the uh, public water project in the uh, Pebble Ridge area. Okay. Keith, you're up. Good evening, uh, everybody. So. Just um, just a, a, a real quick brief overview uh, for maybe uh, some members that, that um, aren't real familiar with the project, but uh, DTMA quote unquote piggybacked on uh, the uh, Bucks County Water and Sewer Authority and Doylestown Township, the installation of the public sewers, um, our board um, agreed uh, to extend public water to that same neighborhood. Slightly different conditions. We were not making the connection mandatory, but it provided the authority a great time while the roads are being rebuilt uh, for an opportunity to expand uh, public water to approximately 200, 200 homes. So we can, we can uh, commence construction back in, I believe, late September. Uh, our contractor has completed everything um, that he could up to this time. We've installed public water on a multitude of roads. If anybody, um, I know we have a couple members that live, live, live back there. Um, we are uh, approximately 80% complete. A uh, majority of the project that we still need to complete is installing public water down to Lower State Road and Bristol Road to feed the Toll Brothers development. We're working on some um, construction uh, some lingering issues out at a couple of the cul-de-sacs, Springdale Lane and Anvil Lane that we're working around. And in fact, um, you may see our contractor. Our contractor has been off site for about, uh, about a month and they're coming back tomorrow to finish some work on Springdale Road, as well as do some restoration, uh, mainly grass restoration. We did go through some front yards and um, I want to thank everybody for their patience, but uh, we've been reaching out to the homeowners that we did impact with the grass restoration. So uh, that'll be uh, for, uh, starting tomorrow and then continuing into next week. So we're working with the township to make sure that, um, you know, we're coordinating with the paving, uh, upcoming paving projects that, that, that the township has and, and the curbing. Uh, and we're, uh, you know, connecting people uh, as we go here. So it's, uh, it, it's good. It's, uh, it's, it, I think uh, a lot of people are uh, happy that public water has also been um, extended to that area. And uh, some have chosen not to uh, connect and still rely on their private uh, well, which is, which is fine as well. There, there is no mandatory connection uh, that, that the township or authority um, is requiring. So that's about it. We're about 80% complete and uh, hope pending a Toll Brothers uh, agreement will be, uh, will be hopefully completed, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe in a few months. So happy to entertain any questions. Yeah, Keith, one question regarding the grass restoration. So where they put the laterals into the individual properties or where they left stone behind where grass used to be? 
Yeah. Is that part of the restoration or is that on the property owner to uh no, that they will they will um they will plant topsoil and seed and 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 uh make it to a uh the prior condition, uh the grass to to its prior condition. Okay, so, so is that what part of what they're doing when they come back? I believe so, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I will let you know John, because I John, have a, a big pile of stone where grass used to yeah, be. Yep, 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 yep. No, I think, uh, I think, uh, I know they've done some streets, uh, not all of them. So, um, unfortunately, get co contractors get paid per linear foot of pipe. They don't get paid for grass. <laughs> so no worries. We have Keith, to wait a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Keith, John, you had John Canterbury, question. Sure. Um, Keith, I, I, I hadn't realized that Tool Brothers might be involved in the project, uh, and maybe that's a new development. However, will that perhaps uh, subsidize or dilute the cost by their participation of putting the uh, pipe in? John, I'm actually going to jump in. That to step in and just... Yeah, John, I'm going to jump in a minute. Actually, Toll Brothers have been part of this for quite some time. Oh, and, they, well, I knew the sewer, yes. Yeah, and the sewer, I understood. Yeah, it's on the sewer side. The um, we did use some money that uh, on the water side that Keith can actually talk to with regards to uh, to Toll Brothers for us running water out there. What we did was we looped water through the Pebble Ridge Woodridge area, wanting to loop the system. And then we also extended it beyond that. But uh, Keith, you want to wrap that part up? Yeah, that, 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 that you pretty much uh, explained it. That uh, uh, John is part of the, is part of uh, the the Pebble Ridge project that DTMA put out to bid. Uh, we are going to extend public water to Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers is paying for the entire amount. There's no uh, there's no tax dollars. There's no rate that are going into paying for an extension to a developer. A developer foots 100% of the bill. So the looping that Joe was talking about is we sat down and, and explained to Toll that we wanted to make sure that we have a what's called a redundancy in our system so that if there was a main break in the future that we would still be able to uh, supply water to the Oilstown Walk, which is this new Toll, Toll Brothers development. So they agreed to uh, give us some additional monies that we could use to um, apply to this overall Pebble Ridge and Woodred project to help offset the cost for our, our customers. Good. So, yeah. Nancy? Hi there. Just a quick question, only because we keep hearing about our roads over there. So you're telling me roughly in a couple of months it'll be done and then we'll be able to finish paving. Is that correct? So we had a, I said in a, a meeting that we had on Wednesday with Bucks County Water and Sewer. Once a month there's a subcommittee that gets together and we get an update. So Bucks County Water and Sewer should be done in this neighborhood by the end of May. And then at that point in time, I understand from Dave Tompkin, you could get a better schedule from him but uh, they were gonna start uh, repaving the roads once Bucks County was out of the area. Yeah, we anticipate the paving, Nancy, the board will have the bid awards to award um, at your May meeting, which is early in the month. And then from the, what we call the date to proceed, they have 30 days in which to get the project done for paving. And of Thank course, you know, as we talk about the Toll Brothers project, uh, things are moving along, but you know, not everything is not the eyes are not completely dotted or the T's completely crossed. So Thank you for the clarification, just curious. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But it's in progress. Fingers are all still crossed. <laughs> Does anybody, I know Keith was on a tight timeline. Does anybody have anything specific to uh, DTMA or public water for Keith? All right, Keith, thank you. Appreciate okay, it. Okay, thanks, everybody. Sorry, I got a, I got a jet, but uh, COVID restrictions. No worries. Thank you. All it's right. Thanks, you. everybody. Good seeing you. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Stephanie and I were on a uh, monthly update meeting with Bucks County Water and Sewer. 
So if you want to add anything to the uh, sure to the current timeline. Yeah, and Dan, uh, we missed you because that, you know, but I know you have conflicts uh, sometimes. You know, that was an alarm failure on my part. <laughs> An alarm so, failure. Okay. I, I have no good excuse for that. <laughs> it's quite all right. Um, anyway, uh, you know, you, this group has been the one uh, from day one that has uh, evaluates the needs for public sewer um, and water throughout the township. And, you know, the Pebble Ridge Woodridge area was in a neighborhood in need um, based on a lot of data collected um, to have a pipe in the street. And that is, you know, where we are. Um, Bucks County Water and Sewer has been out there since the late fall of 2018, and we are seeing the, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. Um, like um, Joe said, uh, you said end of May. I'm gonna probably say more like June. <laughs> um, I'm trying so, to be optimistic. I know, I know, I know. But they did. They are trying to shoot still for like you know July timeframe to be done with you know the work not only in the main part of the development but also then they have to move over to Alms House Doe Run in Militia Hill, and Militia Hill has some pretty deep cuts there to get you know sewer in. Um, so, but they're on target. Things are moving along. Um, getting obviously it's springtime, so I'm getting a lot of calls from potential homeowners that want to buy and sell and everything like that. And um, so everybody's anxious to, uh, you know, get connected and when can they connect and, and all of that. So that's all positive. Um, I will share something with this committee, um, which I, and those who've been on the committee a long time will understand this in terms of the, some of the factors that went in. Um, the MS4 program, which is the separate sewer and storm stormwater system that we have to comply with with DEP, we have permits. It's called the MS4, and um, we have to do things to reduce our total maximum daily load of pollutants going into the streams, etc. And the Pebble Ridge neighborhood has been um, sort of the largest amount of fecal coliform has come from that neighborhood into the outfalls uh, from especially like the David's Way area and, and, and Old New and all that. Joe, we remember from the Pipe in the Street booklet. Yeah, we had a lot of hot spots in this area when you they- had a lot of hot spots. Them. So the sewer has been installed now, right? And we just had um, GHD who does our stormwater sampling and stuff. And um, when they go out, they're looking for street, you know, the, the outlets, the outfalls that are still running 72 hours after the storms. And he said that the first time since 2006, this was the first time in your neighborhood that at one or two of the Steph, outfalls- Steph, you froze there. Oh, did I? Oh, okay, sorry. Am I back on? Yeah, you might want to repeat your last 20 seconds there. Oh, sorry. Okay. So GHD, who's our, um, who does our sampling and everything, they were out recently doing the sampling throughout the township, and they went into the Pebble Ridge Woodridge neighborhood. And um, Russ Mihalik said, he wrote Dave an email and copied me on it and said that in since 2006, he's been the guy who's gone out there and 72 hours after a storm, there's always water running through there because it's bringing, you know, and that's where the highest levels of fecal coliform are in, in, that, in that rainwater in the stormwater going to the, in the pipes coming out to the Neshaminy and we've been trying to stop it, right? Since the sewer went in and the last time, from the last time they sampled there, he said those, those two of the outlets that they went to, were dry. And he said, it's all due to the public sewer. So just want to share that with you guys. Joe, now you're frozen. Yet, yet that's not connected to the system, yeah, or is it? Sewer's in there. That's public fabulous. Oh, it is yeah. connected. Yeah, okay. some of it's done, some it's not, but the stuff in the... I'm sorry, Stephanie, do you have a sense of like what percentage of homeowners have already tied in? Um, I think they've 
probably, I mean, out of the 250, you know, but we still have to get to the other side of the street and some aren't even done yet. Um, there have been like well over 50 um, EDUs issued. So we probably have at least 30 or so that have probably tied in already, but there's more EDUs. People have obtained their EDUs. So, uh, and I know a lot of people are waiting for this spring and they're waiting for the curbs to be done and, and the water to get in. So, um, yeah, I know we were waiting for word because we're on West away and I know they did the pipes in one direction, but mm -hmm. I think we were, we were waiting to hear that they were completed in the other, <laughs> in the other direction. Yeah. You're in the other direction. Yeah. I, and we can check with Bucks County water and sewer Jenny. They may, oh, we're know. not, we're not in any hurry. I was just curious based on uh, yeah. the improvements that they noticed out. how many, how many houses are actually tied in. Yeah. So we're probably push it. Like I said, there's over 50, I think there's over 50 over the last umpteen, you know, three years that have obtained their, on my um, meeting. Okay. Um, that have obtained the EDUs and probably at least half, if not more that are connecting. Okay. So, yeah. So, so that's kind of the update there. I think that's all very positive. Okay. Stephanie, maybe yeah. if you keep track of that, that should be one thing. Once we get more data, mm -hmm. that's, probably, that's really something that should be <clears throat> publicized to the to the community. Oh, but it this, will be. It's too early, but but that's really a key. Oh, it is. It's the, the whole stormwater management aspect of it. I mean, you and you and Joe were on that original committee, and so you know the results of of the high, the, I mean, that neighborhood had the highest levels of fecal coliform going into the stream. So to start to see pipes not have flow in them after a storm, which is what you want, you want it to infiltrate on the properties and stuff like that, it is amazing after yeah, all these years. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, Joe. Ooh, there's Joe. We, he's frozen again. I don't know what's going on. There he is. There he is. Joe? Yep. All right. Everybody seems to be freezing a little bit. I'm not sure. Is Joe frozen again? I was frozen. Now Joe's frozen. I think Joe's frozen. Yeah, I, I think Joe's frozen. No, no, um, he's okay. okay. Joe's mute. That's Joe, you need to unmute. That's the problem. He might be. No, he's moving. I saw him move a minute ago, but he's. Hold on. Maybe I can unmute him. No, he's not on. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. No, he muted himself. Yeah, his Wi Fi might I'm be. I'm surprised he can't hear you. No, he can't. Okay, maybe something's going on. Uh, Joe? Joe? You're okay. <laughs> Wally, I agree with you. All right, I think I'm in a good spot now. I lost the uh, our internet connection here at home. Just froze up, so I had to switch over to a hotspot on my phone. So we seem to be in good shape now. Okay. But um, Stephanie, I did have a question for you. Mm -hmm. So from the township perspective, now that we have, especially in the area where the sewers are installed, if there's a property that visibly has an issue. Mm -hmm. So for instance, we haven't had rain, significant rain in several days. And if you walk by or drive by a property and there's water continuing to run off that property at this point what's the township's plan from an enforcement standpoint to uh to approach the homeowner about hooking up to the uh sewer if they have if they haven't expressed we've, interest we've dealt with that in the past and we will need to work with the bucks county health department okay 
because it becomes a Bucks County Health Department issue. Okay. We just need an address. Sounds good. Yep. Anybody else have any uh, questions or comments first uh, regarding the current project? Okay, so we'll move on from there. Um, I did want to thank everybody for their input that went into our, uh, our article in the upcoming uh, Township Newsletter. Wally, thank you for your time and effort editing and putting the final touches on that. Appreciate it. And from there, I was hoping that today what we could do is um, go to the next step and get our, uh, our web page or our page on the website, sort of uh, get that laid out, put into perspective so it's ready to, to, uh, to launch. Right. And I believe, um, Joe, on um, May 4th, you're going to make the presentation just real brief to the board. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll be in town, so I put it on the calendar. Okay. And then, Bob, do you want to share your screen or Aaron yours to show um, this, you know, the area that the slides that we've worked on with Bob? Bob or Aaron, one of you guys got to step, which one of you wants to share? Let me see if I can pull it up. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to pull it up for you guys. There we go. Let's see here. There it is. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, uh, let me do this for you guys. There we go. Can you see that, Stephanie? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Bob, can you they... enlarge that on your screen now? Ooh, I will try. Maybe go full screen with it. Yeah, that is. Um, let's see if we can open it in a new window. This might give it a bigger view. No, not really. No. Uh, let's see if we can pull up. Uh, is that just too too small, too hard to see? No, I just thought it'd be, I mean, you can make it out. I just thought it'd be a little easier. Can you zoom in at all when you, uh, at the bottom there? Uh, let's try this for you guys. There you That's go. Better. There we there go. You. There we go. Good deal. So this is my first time with PowerPoint. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, so, so what we had, um, what, what, what I've worked on, um, over the last month was um, to be able to uh, place uh, a series of pages uh, uh, on the on the Doorstown Township site that cover um, well testing and really just as a you know, just as a landing spot for <laughs> residents to understand certain um, certain things about um, having their certain things to understand about their wells, whether it's having it tested or when they should have it tested, um, what are some other things they need to be considering what they may have it tested with. So the idea was if we, um, if we build out a, and I just refer to it as a wireframe, but if we build out a few images just to sort of give um, the group and, and, and what Joe may go talk to um, with, the, with the board, um, just a series of images to help people better understand what we're trying to, to get across. So, you know, it's the idea that it, it would live in navigation um, uh, uh, on the, on the, the Doorstown Township page 
Um, and it would just effectively become its own tab. Uh, and then uh, from there, being able to uh, start to work through a series of topics, private well ownership, um, basics around having your water tested, um, and, and, and just a series of questions that uh, we hope to answer um, throughout the following pages. And, uh, you know, obviously this would function just like all the other pages that are, um, uh, that are, that are alive on this page or on this site. Uh, and then we also included a series of um, uh, videos based on some content that we found helpful, a uh, couple of them from Penn State Extension. And, and as, it, as it was our understanding that if we used any of Penn State's Extension's content that we just simply um, footnoted them for that. Uh, so in, in this, <clears throat> um, on this page, really just um, well hygiene basics, um, how often you should be testing, um, how you keep your well water safe. Um, and that was some of the content that was included um, in that video that we, uh, that we applied to the page. Um, and then are there, you know, being able to answer the, the, the question, are there certain events that prompt a need to get your well tested, um, whether you've had flooding or you've had construction done around it or you've replaced parts of it um, or there's just an obvious change in the quality of your water. Uh, and then from there, uh, we would move into uh, potential contaminants to be tested for. Uh, and and uh, we also, we in this instance, we linked to the EPA site that outlined um, or, or provided definitions of those water contaminants. And, and I think one of the questions I had for the board was, um, we use the language suggested water contaminants to be tested for. Um, these may involve multiple tests. They're not all tested for in the same, like there's not a universal that, that speaks to all of these. And, um, you know, I, I know Keith had to jump off, but I just wanted to make sure that um, if there was, if there was uh, a need to uh, call that out or are we, are, are we just sort of, are, are we safe just saying, like if there's things you wanna test for your water, here's what they are. And then it just, it is what it is in the event that, you know, it's, it's two or three or four tests. Um, but I, I just wanted to make sure that we were covered and we weren't putting any, you know, we weren't creating any undue issue with the wording we use. Well, you may wanna do Bob there and, and, and replacing the word was suggested with, you know, common, common water contaminants to be tested for. This way, we're not suggesting any specifics one way or the other, but just making a general, more of a general statement. Yeah. Or even just um, common water contaminants to be tested. Yeah, anything, or, something along yeah. that line. Or to test or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. You're not supposed the, to other, the other That's comment real quick. Say. Where we have, where you have highlighted your under sewer information, where it says well testing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is well water testing. Okay. Yeah. Or basically, why don't we just follow the same format? What if we just put well water information? Because it's not all about testing, it's also about education, yeah. on how to maintain your well, along some other information that we're including. Okay. If anybody else has a suggestion mm -hmm. otherwise. So that it would, it, that would change um, up here as well, right? We, we, we would change it here and then we would change it here. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and then uh, the next slide was, or the next page in theory would be uh, <clears throat> licensed laboratories. Um, we don't, um, we don't endorse any, uh, but uh, Pennsylvania has a list uh, that, you know, it's literally by count. I think, I feel like it was by county, if I saw, or maybe by town. Uh, mm -hmm. And that link delivers you right to that. Okay. And then uh, in the event that uh, you have a positive test, how do you remedy that? And then that's, um, 
that's another video sponsored by Penn State. And that 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 is uh, that's the scope of uh, the first draft of pages that that I laid out. I think it's great because I think it's I think it, you have consolidated everything into a very very brief but very thorough grouping of information, and especially with the links. It allows the individual, if they want to go deeper, to go into watching the videos, going into the links, et cetera. Right. Jenny, are we um, giving courtesy to Penn State appropriately? Um, I think so. I can double check um, the email from him. I forget the guy's name. Okay. Uh, I'll check the email that he sent me. Um, here we go. And Jen, you also took lead on the research through Penn State Extension. If there's any videos that you think that should be included or additionally mentioned in our web page, you know, let us know. Okay. Um, so I just pulled up. I just pulled up his email, and he said you can certainly use Penn State Extension resources. You just need to give credit to Penn State Extension and the URL where the resource resides. But since they're videos, I think um, usually the way it works. To read or Bob, I guess you can. Yeah, like when you embed a video, usually if you click on it, it would take you to. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. This isn't designed to play in the page. It's designed to actually take you to the Penn State Extension. So oh, okay. Yeah. Just better. think think of it yeah. as a link. Just gotcha. like that. Yeah. So. Okay. Like just like this. Yeah. Is a so link. that's perfect. I, I yeah. think that complies with what they asked us to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. And so Aaron, that, that brings up a good point. I believe I dropped the URLs. I believe that all those images are actually hyperlinked. So um, when you got to the point of being able to set this into a live environment um, on the on the site, you the, the URL is already there. So um, you, you won't have to go find it. All right, thank you. Joe, I think Nancy had a question. I don't oh. know if you can see oh, it. I'm sorry, Nancy, I didn't see you. Go ahead. Oh, it's awesome. It's just, um, I'm just, this is just a typo because of my English. Pebble Ridge, it, should, it says Woodbright, should say Woodridge. See it on the on the tabs when you look down oh, at right. your page. Mm -hmm. Just something silly. Thank you. No, not silly. Thank you. We, this, again, this is a rough draft of what we're, it's not our final working document, but thanks for catching that. So speaking of which, we're, um, Bob, do you have this in a uh, in a finished PowerPoint that we can share with everybody? So, yeah, so, uh, yes, it was it was sent to Stephanie. Uh, yeah, Aaron has it, and he was he's been um, modifying it a little bit to to fit the um, website and everything. So, um, Aaron, will you have that for Joe on the fourth of May that you guys could play it from the back? Yeah, it'll definitely be ready to dive in. Um, I have it in a private format right now. So okay. I've been playing around with it and editing. Um, oh, the, the major change that I'm going to do just to kind of make it fit along with the you know other characteristics of our website is you have the FAQ and have each individual link to a different page. I'm going to turn that into an accordion so that the page expands and contracts as you click through them. And that'll open up you know, the additional yeah. information or the video as necessary. Are you able to put that, Aaron, somewhere where it's in test mode or something that we're able to uh, log in and take a look at it as the, oh. uh, and then provide any additional comments before we have a final document? Um, I have it as private. So that means it can't be searched on the website and found. Um, I believe you got to be on our network to be able to see it. Um, and if I were to send you a link, I don't believe, I think it'd just give you a 404 page not found there. Um, so I'll have to find another way to share it with you. Well, why don't you just do this? Um, when you're ready, just with enough time before May 4, um, you know, maybe uh, yeah, I can either come down to the township building, take a look at it, or if we could, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you're able to put it, 
take it from that standpoint and put, are you able to back it down into a PowerPoint from the, uh, from the web pages? Well, we could always, we could always, um, you know, set up a time, you know, where everyone gets together and we can put it up live and that way everyone can look at it, you know, remotely and then we can put it back down and make edits. Yeah. If we could schedule something before May 4, when you're ready for the whole, for this group. To look at. Yeah. We're, we're not going to be able to do it without advertising for the group to do it. That's the whole thing for sunshine purposes, but uh, we could do okay. it. We can, we could we uh, certainly would like, zone. yeah, I would certainly like Bob and Joe to look at it, make sure they're okay with it. And then we can kind of, we could do two and two and go from there, you know. Okay. Wally has a question. Yeah, I have a, I have a hard copy that I printed out that I got probably a, a month and a half ago. It has, it does not have some of the latest changes, but. Is there a way to have someone send out all the updates that you make? Can we send out a uh, PowerPoint and have us look at it? And with that PowerPoint, we should be able to hook up to the links. Mm, no, because it's in a different format when it goes to the website. So it's in a special, it's in WordPress. So it's not in, it's not in a PowerPoint, it's in WordPress for the website. Okay. But we can, you know, Wally, we can certainly, you know, you can stop by and we can show it to you in the in the private format on WordPress. Well, it, it just gives you a chance to do some of the links, you know, to mm -hmm. go through some of the links, links and see what's what's available. Sure. And, um, yep. It would probably be the easiest okay. way to do it. And okay. Bob, Aaron, Thank great you. job, by the way. This really is yep. a, uh, this looks great. So, so I just have two, um, and I don't even know if it's a recommendation or just an, an idea for discussion. Um, would we want to add a page that just has additional resources that links out to, you know, I think, Joe, you had found a lot of resources on the DEP site um, or, I don't know, on some site. Uh, like, would yeah, we want to have a, a page just for additional resources for people? I think that's a great idea. That's where sort of where I was going with wanting your feedback because you had so many different videos and links and whatnot that you had found also. I think that that would be a good, uh, maybe the last page could be that additional resources. Like that that arsenic page that I felt like right. was from New Jersey. I, I looked a couple of times and could not find it. Um, so the, 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 the arsenic article was because it's naturally occurring, which I don't think a lot of people would realize. I thought that that was pretty interesting. Um, All right, well, let me see if I can find the, get the link back for that. But that would be, that's a, that's a, that's a good addition to an additional resource page. Okay, so why don't we do that? Why don't we just add that as the, uh, the last page to the, yeah. to the whole thing? Aaron, you, you don't need me to rebuild a slide on that. Can, is, no. can you just duplicate and add? No, I'll, I'll create an additional accordion for additional resources. Thank you. We can just throw in links as people find them. Yeah. Okay. And, and you caught the guidance on um, well water information instead of well testing? Yeah. Okay. I had already made that change myself. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, John, um, any, any, any additional comments? Jen? No. So I guess my only other question, it, can you go back to the, the page about the water testing? The this suggested one? water contaminants to be tested for it, yeah. It's possible, I, I will recognize that I might be overthinking this, but um, so for some residents, the testing for the coliforms, I guess, is required. Correct. And it just, I, I just wasn't sure, like for the sake of clarity, if we would want to break out, um, you know, required testing for for well owners versus other contaminants that you can test for, um, yeah. so that people don't think that they that mm -hmm. they have to test for all of this. Um, I, I didn't know if that distinction would be helpful or maybe it's just a point for discussion. 
Yeah, I mean, just so everybody knows, the um, under the septage management um, program, there's a separate thing for well testing requirements for the fecal coliform on the website. Okay, um, so this is really, I mean, this is for people, and you make a good distinction, Jenny, between those who aren't who have public sewer and have a well who don't aren't required to do any testing at all right now. And then it's for people who have a non-lot septic system and test for fecal coliform, you know, have a well and test for fecal coliform once every three years. And there are also other alternatives that you could be testing for that you might want to consider. Does that make sense? I think the only other thing I would add on to this one page here as a listing, being that we have an empty space of heavy metals, probably would be PFOAs and uh, PFAS, only because it's so prevalent in the news. Yep. But again, that's the kind of stuff that we can do, comment on when we all get a chance to, to digest a little more. I was going to suggest that too, Joe. Great minds think alike, John. <laughs> Does anybody else have any additional comments for Bob and Aaron at this point on the web pages? Okay. Oh, I was going to say, Joe, I did spend some time chasing down arsenic because I was concerned about uh, that. Looking at several articles, I think I did run across the New Jersey uh, uh, site you were talking about but basically um, there were maps showing the concentration of arsenic in the water throughout pennsylvania throughout bucks county and it seems to be less of a concern than i might have it was if you have basic water uh that uh, the very uh, balances of arsenic would then dissolve into the water um, and most of our water is uh, acid. Um, there are some places, I guess, up in uh, Plumsteadville where there, it goes uh, basic, but it, it may not be as big an issue as I thought it might be. No, well, that's helpful. Yeah, in, in a metallic form, it's not a problem. Uh, it, it's when it's combined with other uh, inorganic chemicals and it's been 60 years since I took inorganic chemistry, but uh, it, it has to be uh, in an ionization form um, and basic to be a, a particular problem. Still should probably uh, test for it, but I might say lead, of course, that's a heavy metal, or since a heavy metal, but lead uh, might also uh, be included other than heavy metals. Well, I like my arsenic straight up, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else for the uh, benefit of the group tonight? Okay. Well, good job, everybody. Does anybody ever have anything new that they want to bring to the, uh, to the floor before we adjourn? Uh, just one thing I want to make the group aware of uh, from the Board of Supervisors' perspective we, uh, we are discussing our next steps in our roads program about uh, what roads we're going to start targeting for repaving and one community specifically that has reached out to us and that uh, Dave Tomko and staff are considering is the Pebble Woods neighborhood, which is essentially phase two in the 537 plan. Uh, so, and I know that has it noted as being addressed in the next five years or so. 10, actually. Ten. Was it I, 10? I actually mm -hmm. have a, I have a map, Dan, if you want me to show I, I know I have one somewhere. I thought it was five and 10, maybe it's 10. No, I could share. Yeah, but go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah, but just uh, something that we're keeping in mind because we don't mm -hmm. want to repave those roads just to, um, just to tear them up again for sewers, like we discussed with Pebble Ridge Woodridge, but at the same time, we need to do some work in that area. It's identifying uh, what makes the most fiscal sense for us. So just as a heads up when we're discussing the 537 plan. Okay. Yeah, I could, um, I did ask them, I think they're gonna need to come probably to your May meeting and give 
start working with them again because we you know need to move the kind of the 537 project along but let me um figure out how to share this there we go um can everybody kind of see my screen mm -hmm. okay yeah, you want to bring the map up a little higher because most of it's cut off yeah i'm gonna have to see if i can bring it and yeah, let me see if i can make it smaller now it's well you guys are kind of blocked on the other side um yeah so well there we go there we go there um go. yeah so this oh. is the map that we're working with carol and, and bucks county water and sewer authority and just so everybody knows bucks county water and sewer authority is is kind of taking care of this for us um is what they do um for the township and so it'll be nice because right now our, our maps are black and white, you know, they're and they have like little dots on them. So we'll be going to this map. Um, this was the area um, in, um, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but the upper end, we talked about uh, Shady Retreat Road and um, Sandy, Sandy Ridge Road and everything where we have existing sewer and some of the people in that neighborhood just kind of keep putting a, getting an amendment and keep adding to the site and everything and getting onto the sewer line and DEP is kind of like, they want us to look at it globally. So this ended up in the five-year sewer, so will, will be in the five-year sewer ser service area. That's what they're proposing. Um, this is the Pebble Ridge Woodridge area over here in this pink, um, where the purple line kind of outlines Turk and Bristol. And I think we need to have them move that um, into gray because it is in the five year, but it's being sewered now. So I'm hoping though, before we get this map done, they'll be able to put this into that gray area. Although not all parcels will be connected at least we'll know that area is is gray right. the area that dan was just talking about is the yellow area um that's the pebble hill that talked about the roads and everything they're still slated to be in the 10-year sewer service area so and then the rest that's in blue is what we call the ultimate which is beyond 10 years so and considering Dan, how long it took to kind of get to, you know, you have to remember this was in the five year sewer service area in 2000, you know, the, you know, and this was in the 10 year sewer service area and is probably going to still be in the 10 year sewer ser service area. And, um, you know, I, um, I, I'm concerned because I asked um, Steve, who's the engineer at Carroll, um, and in the last time they were in, I don't remember, and, and John and, and Wally and, uh, you know, a couple others will remember, um, John Swenson from Carroll Engineering uh, retired actually um, at the end of last year. So Steve Hartman, who came to the, the meeting we had in the, I guess it was sometime last year, or actually it's probably in 19 when we actually had them in for a public, you know, a, a meeting at the Public Water and Sewer Advisory Committee. So, um, you know, I think it would be good for them to kind of come back and, and walk us through that. And um, of course, some of the anticipated costs um, as we start to, you know, think about, you know, what it's gonna take to, you know, um, sewer because the, the gravity sewer you've got in the yellow area is 600 EDUs needed, okay? And don't forget there's um, installation of central pump station and, and things like that that are going to need to occur at the time. But, um, you know, the they're estimating, and of course this is in 2019 estimates. So we're already, you know, kind of, they're they started developing this. It's like a, over 23 million, almost $24 million project. Hey, so. Stephanie, to that point, just a yeah. quick question. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and that's, that's, yeah. 
ahead. Uh, just with the uh, with the federal funding, that's some of it that's already been approved, and other that's being banted around. Yeah. Has there been any discussion at the at the township if any of that money slated for infrastructure would be available for a uh, uh, to help offset a sewer project? Because up until oh, now, yeah. there wasn't unless there was grant money available. Um, be, it's only yeah. been divided by the cost of the residents where it's been going in. Sure, sure. Um, you know, I know under the American Rescue Plan, the township will be getting like one almost one point eight million dollars, and you know we're waiting on the guidelines. Um, I actually have a call into the congressman's office to see when those are going to be coming out, and you know it it says water sewer and broadband. Um, I know we'd love it if we could use it maybe for roads. Um, you know, out of twenty estimated 23, 24 million. And by we, the time we finish the 537 plan and get it approved and get it to DEP and get DEP to approve it, you know, that's probably still, you know, two plus years, maybe three away. Um, and then starting a project and we have to use the money by 24. So, and, you know, it's not gonna kind of cover that much. And we also don't know know if that's for new projects you know existing projects um right, well it's on the radar guidelines. screen at least right yeah i mean you know we have to kind of ask and see what's going on and everything but um i think having them come back to us in may and continue to dialogue with bucks county water and sewer authority and of course you know as part of the 537 plan update there has to be um you know public input and in how we're going to go about doing that in COVID um, is, you know, is difficult, you know, in terms of public meetings and things like that. So I just wanted to, um, you know, kind of share that right now and it show you where, where things continue to lie and um, kind of go from there. Okay. All right. So, good update. Thank you. Yeah. So I um, just want to say that in um, Nancy had to, I guess, jump off. She said, great job um, for the website and um, have a great night. Warm regards. So um, thank you. Just wanted to, um, you know, let you know that that happened while I was talking with you. Okay. Dan, I didn't mean to jump in on you like that, but I wanted, I, I had the visual I wanted to, to oh, share. That's all good. You know, but I think you're right. I think it, you know, the, the roadways, um, you know, I worry, Dan, I mean, sort of like the lessons learned, you know, um, the woulda, shoulda, coulda, you know, things of life, you know, should we have yeah. gone and paved, should we have just gone ahead and paved, you know, Pebble Ridge, Woodridge, you know, 10 years ago, and then, yes, yeah, <laughs> and, and then if we dig up, I mean, if we dig, it, I mean, here's the whole thing, it, we, when you know so if we have to go to pebble hill in the next year or so and 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 pave it we we pave it because if if sewers in that area are still you know 10 years off seven to ten years away you know you might as well pave now and then you know kind of what i've learned from this is is that it's never unless we absolutely know 100% the project starts in six months, don't pave the road. But mm. if, if it's, you know, 20 years later, you know, yes. 10 years later, 15 <laughs> years later, you know, we kept thinking it'll be soon, it'll be soon. And, and soon just kind of kept, you know, just went, went way too far out in my opinion. Yeah. It's, it, it's one of those things I, I care about. Cause you know, I was probably a preteen on Woodridge when we were told we can't pave the roads because the sewer is coming in. So, yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure we yeah. take care of our citizens um, while we're waiting for things to play out. Exactly. So I don't, I don't want some other preteen to have to wait <laughs> um, and become a supervisor in, you know, 20 years later. <laughs> And okay. what you didn't do what you said you were going to do. <laughs> Why right. am I still on the board at 60? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I had to wait. You had to wait. No. Um, 
so anyway, I we're digressing here and I have to go to another Zoom meeting. So <laughs> all right. Well, look, thank you, everybody. Does anybody have anything else for tonight? No, great work. You guys have just right. rocked with with the well, you know, Jenny and, and Bob and Wally and everybody and John, your your research, Joe pulling it all together. Um, you know, made made it a little easier for me and Aaron to kind of help out. So thank you. Got a good team. All right, everybody. Well, I'll see you guys soon and uh, touch Aaron. We'll wait to hear from Aaron on the uh, final touches on the uh, web pages. Sounds good. Take Bye. care. Good night, Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.